Hello, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to use Windows Movie Maker. Here we go. I'm going to post a link for Windows Movie Maker for XP and Vista in my comment box on the right. Alright, once you have it you can open it up. Um, what you first will need to do if you want to make um, a video where you have the music and you have pictures to go along with it. Okay, that's the tutorial I'm going to be showing you today. It's going to be a quick and simple one that's going to be about 10 minutes long. Okay. What you need to do is have your audio or your music. Um, you can import it right here from audio or music up on the left side of the screen. Click that and I suggest saving your stuff to a separate folder um, so it's easier to get at but if not you can just go into your music file. Just let me get to it. Music. And then you can just choose your music from there. You can open it up and then choose it. Hit import. Okay, and then it brings it on. All my music's down here. And then what you do, you just drag it on. And then it's down here. Okay? Um, I'm going to remove that. Remove. But say you don't have the music on your computer and you want it on, okay? I'll show you a site where you can download it. Open up your internet. Go to Google, type in the song you want, um, I'll type in the song I did for my last movie I made, um, you type in the song you want, which goes first, which would be here, then after that you type in B E E M P 3 okay, so it looks like this, because you love me, B E E M P 3 or B M P 3 okay search okay when you're going to click on it uh, make sure it says down here on the green bar um, bmp3.com not um, not any other site okay so you just click on it the web page should look like this okay down here will give you some layers that but make sure that they are in capital locks okay so LWA hit download to make sure it's the one you want click the play button here okay and the song will start playing okay now that you know it works okay sometimes if you click on it says um, error or cannot play do not download that one it's usually a bad upload but if it does play you can go on out and hit the download which is right here Okay, hit it. Save. Like I said before, save it to a place where it's easier to get to and you don't have to sort through lots of music. Like you can save it into your documents, into your videos, you can save it anywhere, okay? I already have it so I'm not going to download it. It should only take a couple seconds. It won't take that long. Okay? Once you have it, it should pop. Okay, once you have it, you go back into audio or music. Click it, find the song, which is right here. You can double click it, or click it and hit import, which would be down here. Okay, you need to click it, drag it down, make sure it's at the beginning, or wherever you want to put it. Okay, I'll zoom out. Um, right here, when you first will open it up, it should look like this. You'll have this bar at the bottom. Um, I suggest changing it to timeline, it makes it easier. So all you do is click that arrow and change it to timeline. Okay, and here's the song. Since I only have four minutes long, I'll just change it up to um, 30 seconds or whatever. Okay, zoom in. Bring it back to the beginning. All right. Now I'll just go ahead and hit play to show you it works. Okay, now you know it works. Okay. Now what you want to do is you want to put in pictures to this. Okay. So you click on pictures which is above audio or music, right here, let it open, um, just choose a few pictures, um, just double click it or click it once and hit import which is down here, if you're using the Vista, I'm using the Vista program right now so yours might be a little bit different, but I'll just click on it, bring it up, move it, don't need it that long, so I'll shrink it down, and I'll just move over a few pictures. 
very easy just to move it just left click and pull it down drag it and it's there okay um choose two more pictures to show you yes this is me that you're seeing not my best photos but they are photos um that'll be good um once you have it on there you can go back preview Okay, but if you don't want, just go from like one slide to the next, just like, bam, it's there. Okay, what you would do is you go back into storyboard, storyboard, go up to, uh, tools, transitions, click on it. Okay, now there's a whole bunch of options, I'm not going to show you all of them, I'll show a few. Uh, shatter in, roll. And one more. Um, I'll just choose circles. Okay. Click on the first one to preview. Hit play. And you can see it doing its different actions. Okay. Um, now you can also go back into tools. Hit effects. And you want to do different things. You can preview it. Just click it. The one you want. Hit play. And it gives you a preview. Right here over here on this screen okay um there's a whole bunch of them um i'll just go fade from white move it here um film age oldest uh, i'll add a few more like color change that's always a good one okay, let me drag it okay i'll click back on it hit play fade in shatter hold video roll change colors. I'm making it go a little fast because I'm running out of time, but there's a whole bunch of options here. I'm not going to go through them all. You can play with it. Okay, I'll go back in the timeline. Alright, zoom in. I can see the basics of it. Okay, I'll move this down. You can also move the pit so that they overlap each other. Um, as you see, it's like overlapped right now so that they fade in nice. Play over here. So you can like take the picture, drag it, so it moves over it. So it's yeah, there we go. There. Now it slowly changes from one to the other. Okay? To add on tiles, like right here where it says the title in the very beginning, or just words on the bottom that you want to say, is going to tiles and credits under edit. Go titles on the selected clip, right straight here. Um, and here I'll just type in um, the title, title, and they'll show up over here. Title, okay, and then um, uh, down here, just put where you want to put, for example, love, and it'll show you. And it shows you what it looks like. You go. You can go into change it. You can change the text and font. You can make it transparent. You can make it not. You can change the color so it's like red or whatever you want. Okay. You can make it center. You can make it left. You can make it right. You can change it whatever. Okay. I'll go cancel. Um. You already got transition. Um. Okay. After you have it all done and you have it how you like it, so hit play. And you have it all timed. Okay. What you do is you go up here to the top. You go publish movie. You I suggest going to this computer because it just makes it easier, okay? So you go to next. Call it whatever y'all go test two. Test two, whatever. Save it under your videos anywhere you want. Okay, hit next. Okay, best quality. That's preferred hit publish mine's a short clip so it shouldn't take that long but I'm still gonna pause it just for the sake of time alright um now it's done hit finish okay 
you can exit out here. It says you want to save, yes, in case you want to work on it later. Save it as whatever you want, I'll play test again. Test 2, um, point 1, whatever. It saves. Okay. Now you can click on here and find it wherever you put it. I was going to read some of the eyes. Okay, test 2. Let it load. And here's what it looks like. Well, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial, and if you have any questions, just leave a comment. Thank you.